Good day, fellow settlers of what will be Emerald City. I'm Durkle, and this is my survival Let's Play. Welcome to episode one, but not the first episode. In episode zero, we cleared this forest. We explored what was around us, which isn't too much, to be honest. It's largely just forests and plains. Uh... Here, no, no, not there. Here is the forest that we took down. Uh, here's the stuff that we've managed to loot so far. And we have killed an awful lot of pigs. But today, we have got a bit of a mega episode. There's a lot I want to get done. So let's take a look at what that is. And so this is what we've got planned. I need to collect a chest of stone, which is not going to be easy because I don't have silk touch. Collect half a chest of granite. Again, not going to be too easy. It's a lot of stuff to collect, especially with stone pickaxe. Collect three slime balls. Now, that's possibly going to be the trickiest one. There is a swamp over there. Don't know if we'll be able to get that, though. Um, alternatively, we can dig some big holes underground and hopefully find a slime chunk. I think that might be what we go for. We're going to build an iron farm. Which is definitely a big ask so early on in the series, but I think we need it um, to power the series really. We're going to have a lot of farms, we're going to need a lot of hoppers. And then we're going to make a building around the iron farm. So I think that is going to be the big one. That's why obviously we need the stone and the granite. And I might just add here, set up far small farms. Small farm will do. So let's get started with, I think, this one, this one, and this one by digging some big columns underground. We are going to dig straight down, which as we know is the first thing you should always do in your Minecraft world. And what we are going to do is dig out some big old chunks, and I think that's probably something that would be best done as a time lapse. <laughs> that was a lot of digging. That was a lot of digging, but look what we've got here. Oh, I dug out 18 chunks along here. Not full chunks, but 18 chunks along here. No slime. I just dug out this one here, and we got slime. <laughs> we got slime. <laughs> Amazing. If you want to find out why these are purple slime, I'll take a look at my episode one, but that is great. So that looks like we've found a slime trunk chunk I'm pleased because I was about to start digging out this one here but that is perfect 
Okay, uh, quickly for supplies, so we've got all of our stone. We're just getting a little bit more, and maybe enough granite, not too sure. A little bit of smooth stone, so uh, I'm going to have to get a bit more slime, and then we can go up and we can start building. I nearly forgot I was too excited about the slimes. Um, we got diamonds. We got... I've counted them. There's more diamonds down there. There's more there. I think we've got 24 of them. So we'll take five. Let's take this one here. And we found one in the chest. So we already got the achievement for diamonds. But that's three, four, five. Let's just double check that. We got five. It's enough for a pickaxe and enchant table. Uh, we'll leave the rest here and we'll fortune them later. Okay, I'm on boys. Let's go. Move it on in. Come on. One at a time. One at a time, boys. Come on. Oh boy, these guys want to fight and I am not looking to give them one just yet. Stay there, I'm just leading my girls. Come here, come on. Let's go. My girls breed. Give me lots of babies. Same with you guys. Babies, babies, babies. Okay, let's craft. We might need to to fight those guys, so... We're gonna want iron armor. I haven't had any armor just yet. Hopefully I've got enough iron on me. Uh, helmet, get some bootsies, right that's that, let's go there, pickaxe another one, let's get an axe, that will do us for now and let's get a diamond pickaxe, right and that should do us. Okay, I might need to collect a little bit more iron whilst I breed these guys up. And then we can probably start building this thing. Okay, these boys got to go. I'm just... I'm not looking for them to be here. Threatening the cows in the local area. Come on, shoot me, boys. Oh, he's got piercing. You've got to go. Right. Die. Die. They're gone. Oh, I got it. Nice. Alright, come on, cows. You're coming with me. There's another one over here. Got to get rid of the riffraff once in a while. Come on. Oh boy, <laughs> I was out here looking for sugar cane. And i seen this guy. Don't run away, don't run away, don't run away. Yeah. <laughs> we got a dog. We got a dog. Give me names. I need a name for the dog. Come on, boy. Let's get some sugar cane. Oh boy, I think I've gone too far with the cows, but hopefully this will be enough for an enchant table. Uh, not that I can really see what I'm doing here. We need 45 leather. Hopefully this is enough. I've been breeding them for a while. I'm growing sugar cane whilst I have been. So let's make our way through this and see whether we've got enough. That was enough leather, more than most likely, so I think we're going to be able to make that full enchant table now. I'm pretty sure we've got enough. Fingers crossed. Let's see here. That's 49. I don't know why I've got 49 in my head. I just think that that is the number that it is. It may well not be. That's our enchant table set up, and then we... Oh no, got to make the... Planks. That's more than enough. How many does this make? Oh, 16. Perfect. Oh no. <laughs> Don't want to go down there. Right. So it's just going to be temporary where this goes. I'll probably just chuck it here for the time being. And we're going to enchant a couple of bits whilst I've got levels because I'm pretty sure I'll die eventually. So, where else? There, there, there. Why not? Chuck it in there. What can we get on the pick? I'm breaking three. Let's go for some armor, maybe. We've only got a couple of goes at this. So, what can we get on the armor? No good. Uh, protection three could be better. Respiration. Should we chance it? 
Hey, that's not too bad, all right. Uh, I really want, re yeah, let's go for that. Why not? I really want, f that's what I want. Okay, that's perfect. So we can go get those diamonds. But now we're going to come over here with all of the stuff that we've got. I put water down because we're bound to die. And here's all of our stone, all of our granite. We've got some glass and some other bits. We're going to start with the building. And after the building, we'll do the iron farm. I think that's the better way to do it. So let's roll that music, get the time lapse started. expected and very very expensive <laughs> I'm nearly out of iron uh, but I've got to have a couple of iron uh, accessories to make this place look nicer we've got this is going to be for the door which I think should probably come off here uh, no not there Maybe. Yeah, not there. Let's go here. Nice glass door. And a few more accessories. I think I already got them. Yeah, I got some leaves here. Let's chuck these in. Maybe need to go one higher with these. Now let's take a step back and have a look. Now that is a proper looking building. I thought, well, I've got to get rid of that dirt. We are going to put a sign there, but I don't quite have the stuff on me at the moment. But that is a beast. Look at the absolute size of that. And that's hopefully going to be one of the smaller buildings in our city. So I think we're going to have to go to the nether maybe and get some glowstone or shroom lights um, so we can make a sign in there and we're also going to need quartz for the iron farm so I think I've got more than enough obsidian so let's head off into the nether hopefully we've got a good nether spawn nether in perfect quartz this is what I came for largely but wouldn't mind a little bit of shroom lights we're in a pretty safe biome I think uh, shouldn't be too much that can get us here. So I'm going to... Oh, glowstone. Which one? Crimson or... Oh, do you know what? I think I'm going to go for the glowstone. And then we're going to get out of here as quickly as we can. This is what we came for. We'll, uh, we'll do proper never exploring at a later date. But in the meantime, I just need to collect as much of this stuff as I can. So I took the liberty of uh, doing the sign off camera 
uh, just in case I made any mistakes there. Hopefully it's readable. It's IRN, iron, because we are going to put an iron farm in there. So we'll have to do something about the interior. We'll obviously put a roof on it. And we're going to have to kidnap some of these boys to put them in there. And somehow find a zombie. So I'm going to start building it up, I think. And then we can move some of the guys over. So if I have the basis of the farm in, then I just need to move the guys over, which will be the hard bit. Uh, so let's get going with that. Right, we've got three villagers over here. Or I've built a big old Helter Skelter for him to go in. And I'm not really sure whether this is going to work or not. But we'll give it a go. Okay. On the rail. Okay, we got him in. I just got to push him up the first bit. Yes, yes. Okay, please don't die along the way. <laughs> please don't die. I should have bought a minecart for myself. Let's have a look. Have we got him up? Yes. So we got him in. Perfect. I've got to do it twice more. We go again. Come on. Oh no. <laughs> Have we failed? Yeah, we failed. Come on, just die. Just die. Just. <laughs> no way. Nearly got him. Right, we've got some candidates chasing, but I'm going to need them to pick something up. Yeah, we've got one. So not you. Come on, come on. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep coming, keep coming. There you go. Yeah. Keep coming. No, 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 <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna have to kite this boy. Come okay, on. Come on. No, 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 no. Around this side. Go down there, go down. Yes! Got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So let's take a look at what we have achieved. We have built this absolute behemoth of a building. And I have done some things after getting the farm up and going. I didn't want to do another time lapse. So here we have an interior. Uh, much smaller than the, the size of the building. I didn't want it to be too big. So I've gone for the two thick walls. So we've got, when we walk in, we've got completely different feel. Uh, we have concrete on the walls, which let me tell you, at this stage is not easy to come by. That was, that was very tricky. Um, and I added an extra leaf there, which I think makes the whole thing look a bit better. The iron farm is operational, so we were able to use these smithing tables, which were very expensive, but we managed to get them in. I think the lighting's good in here. Got black concrete and diorite in the floor. A little desk here which I'd like to get set up with 
either an armor stand or a villager in here. I think that'd be good. You can hear the, <laughs> the iron farms working up above. So if we go through this elevator, it's not very nice back here. <laughs> As you can see, I got my redstone going for the for the elevator. Uh, nice through here, very much functional back here. <laughs> and we'll do something about this, maybe put a water elevator going in up there so it looks nice and tidy. So we come up these stairs. This is where the iron farm pumps out. And we have a villager. One of the villagers fell through, fell through the lava blade and somehow survived. So I think we need to give this chap a name and maybe a second lease of life because he is a real survivor going through the lava and surviving. But there's the iron golem. It's pretty decent rate. Uh, I'd say I designed the farm myself because it's, it's not anyone else's design, but it's also iron farms are all pretty much the same. So... There's nothing too special about that, but as you can see, the rates aren't too bad, so we're getting a lot of iron from this boy. Uh, and we've got our mascot here, so I think we'll, we'll let him stay for now. Maybe we'll get him out and give him another lease of life. Um, but this has worked out really, really nicely, so let's get out of here. And I think what we probably need to do is get those diamonds that we found at the beginning of the episode and wrap things up. So, Fortune 3, we've got an 8 vein here. How many diamonds are we going to get from this? From these 8? And from these 3? So, from all of those diamonds, we got a grand total of... 43 that's that's not too bad off 19 that's a, that's a really good return so i think after all the work we've done in this episode that's going to be it so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed the episode and you're excited for many many more builds and i'll see you later bye bye